Hello, my name is Amber LaRock and I am a staff writer with Emergency Vets USA as well as a licensed veterinary technician. Our goal at Emergency Vets USA is to educate you on topics regarding your pet's health. So today we'll be discussing vaccines and their relation to injection site sarcomas in cats. While this is still considered extremely rare, it is something that pet owners should be aware of um, and there is more research that is being performed on the topic. So today we will aim to educate you on everything you need to know about injection site sarcomas and their relation to vaccines. So an injection site sarcoma in cats refers to a cancerous mass or a sarcoma that develops in a region where a vaccine was previously administered. Because these cancerous masses are related to previous vaccine administration, you will often see them develop in the area that vaccines were previously given. So the most common areas to see these masses develop are on the dorsal region of the cat, which is on their back, and they will often develop in the area between the shoulder blades or even the lower area closer to the flank and around the hind legs in some cases. While research is still ongoing on the exact cause of injection site sarcomas and why they develop after vaccines, the most common conclusion is that they develop as a result of chronic inflammation that occurs in the vaccination site. Essentially, an intense immune response occurs, and due to the chronic inflammation, this can lead to the development of a mass down the line. There is no definitive way to know if a sarcoma is related to vaccines or not, but basically your veterinarian comes to this conclusion if the fibrous sarcoma develops in a region where vaccines were likely given in the past. So if a biopsy is performed and it is diagnosed as a sarcoma, there's no way for the lab to tell you that yes, this mass developed as a result of a vaccine, but it's basically just putting the pieces together and your vet will feel comfortable coming to that diagnosis of an injection site sarcoma. If your cat is diagnosed with an injection site sarcoma, your veterinarian will typically use a combination of different treatment options. Some of the most common treatment options on the table involve surgery, which will involve removing the mass and removing large margins as well, because these tumors are known to have uh, deep-rooted branches. So your veterinarian will need to be sure to not only remove the mass itself, but a large amount of tissue surrounding the mass. Another surgical option that can be considered in some cases is leg amputation, if the mass is on the limb or close to the limb. Some veterinarians believe that this option is more effective in reducing the likelihood of the mass developing again in the same spot. So if possible, your vet may be able to remove the limb that the mass is present on. In addition to surgical removal of the mass, your veterinarian may also implement chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Though studies, again, are still ongoing, most experts believe that the combination of surgery and chemotherapy or radiation therapy are the best way to decrease the chances of the mass coming back. For a more in-depth review on injection site sarcomas and their relation to vaccines, be sure to review the article that is attached to this video, but stay tuned to Emergency Vets USA for more topics on pet health.